You say the data, they say the data. Two epic consumer movements. Comcast net neutrality and abolish overages for cell phone plans. If you haven't heard of net neutrality yet, well then you should feel bad. And then you should go watch this awesome John Oliver clip. I mean, it's hilarious and it's informative. So what are you waiting for? Just go now. I'll wait. Not even wearing a watch. <laughs> So Time Warner and Comcast called off their merger a few days ago, but it seems that Comcast is still pushing for their own version of net neutrality. Fight for the Future organization says that if Comcast wins back the power to slow some sites and speed up others, then they can hold the internet hostage, like stick them up buddy, and they can make billions. So they're fighting hard. User Shogun Blaze echoed to Comcast that the internet isn't a luxury. It's a utility that people rely on, right? Your attack on the internet with the Congressional Review Act threatens the integrity of our consumer company relationship, and I won't fight you with one hand and feed you with the other. I'll make any sacrifice necessary, meaning canceling your service, oh snap, until you get the message. Well, Shogun Blaze, you could use T-Mobile's unlimited data plan because apparently America's uncarrier, T-Mobile, stopped charging consumers for data overages a year ago, a year ago, as a part of an effort to oust shady practices industry-wide. But AT&T and Verizon are still not budging. According to John Legree, the CEO of T-Mobile, charging for overages is a bull practice that's enabling carriers to take a billion dollars every year out of consumers' pockets. The carrier's dirty little secret about overage is that they slam you for using your device exactly like you were supposed to. These penalties often hit people who can least afford them. Whoa, 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 wait. You're telling me that I shouldn't have to pay that extra $100 for binge watching Daredevil on my way to work? Good to know. John even started a year-long petition on change.org that received over 200,000 signatures. But AT&T and Verizon still didn't do anything. Shogun Blaze instructs, don't fight a company with one hand and feed them with the other. Some consumers agree. Laura Herrick echoed to AT&T, even though AT&T has amazing coverage, I'm considering changing my service back to T-Mobile due to their non-overage fees policy. T-Mobile's customer rates are growing steadily, and John Legree says their key to success is listen to your employees, listen to your customers, shut up, and do what they tell you. Pretty bold, huh? Do you guys think more companies should adopt this strategy? Make sure to support the echoes featured in today's video by re-echoing below. That was all for May 5th. I'm Jay, and I'll see you again next week.